So, hi guys! Ngayong June 8, 2020, ay i-analyze natin ang Integrated Microelectronics or IMI. So, bago natin puntahan yung chart is i-discuss muna natin kung ano yung kanyang book value. So, ang book value na IMI is actually 8 pesos. 8 pesos at price to book value na is 0.78. Kung i-compare mo siya sa tech, actually tech price to book value is 8.53 times. So, mas, uh, for me, uh, is mas attractive tong si IMI. But, yeah, based on sa year-to-date returns, actually IMI is negative 21.42%. Samantalang si tech is actually up by 109.58%. So, yun lang guys, ang masasabi ko sa IMI. So, mura siya when it comes to book value. Traded, wait, check natin kung ano siya traded. When it comes to book value kasi is, ah yeah, mura siya. Kasi 0.78 lang si tech kasi yung isang, I mean, I mean yung, yung piece ng earnings ng tech is nagbabayad ka ng 8. Ay, hindi. No, no. It's actually the book value. Eh. So, ito yung posibleng makuha mo kung sakaling magsara yung isang kumpanya. So, 8 pesos sa makuha mo kay IMI, pero si Tech kapag nagsara siya ay 1 peso lang yung makukuha mo. So, assuming syempre na ma-realize yung mga assets nila. Anyway, puntahan natin yung kanyang chart. So, ang IMI ay nag-close 6.20 pesos or up by 15 cents. Value turnover is 3.30 million pesos at may net foreign selling na 56.17 thousand. So, actually, ito yung kanyang chart. Bakit? Show natin yung... Ah, naka-hide pala. Sorry, sorry. So, bago natin punta yung mismong chart is... Puntahan muna natin yung ibang indicator. So, sa so sa MACD, um, pakyat pa rin naman siya. And yung, M, yung actually yung histogram is, eto, histogram is pakyat pa rin naman siya. So, ang bias natin is of course more on an upside. So, possibly i-retest niya tong level na to around this area. So, yan yung tinitignan natin na resistance area. Siyempre, kung lumusot siya dyan at this level. So, sa ngayon, yan muna. However, dito sa dito sa RSI, actually, medyo malapit na siya sa resistance area na tinitignan natin, which is around wait, around 78 area. So, tignan natin kung Ibe-break niya pa yan. Kasi kapag na-break niya yan, is possibly retest this area, which is 91. So, medyo ano na siya. Ano na to? Talagang overbought area. Para kasi sa akin is, at least 75 yung ginagamit ko usually, or 80. Yun yung mga ginagamit ko na overbought area. Pero yung default actually is 70. So, kung gagamitin mo yung default air, default na RSI, it's already at overbought or mahal na siya. So, dahil dyan, patas pa rin naman siya at wala pa naman ta tayong nakakita na divergence is more on an upside. So, ngayon ay puntahan na natin yung kanyang chart. So, chart-wise, Wait. Checking ako. Para siyang para siyang magiging um, cup. I'm actually expecting a cup here. Cup pattern. Wait. So, tingin ko forming a cup pattern si IMI. So, posibleng target area is this level at 7.14. So, ang resistance na tinitignan natin is 7.16 pesos. So, wait. Check lang natin yung 
And of course, kung lumusot siya dyan is at this level na area. 7.59 area. So, yun yung tinitignan natin kay IMI. And of course, sa support naman is this area. For me, ha, this area. Or actually, pwede din this area sa medyo mataas. Kasi kaysa ito muna bago dito. So, yan yung tinitignan natin na support area. So, syempre, kung ako, kung sakaling trade ko to, syempre, measure ko yung risk-reward ratio. So, kung nakapasok na kayo, pwede nyo gamitin itong actually long position para makita nyo yung expected profit or, uh, I mean, expected profit or ano nyo to? Expected loss. So, since sabi ko nga sa stock market or means sa local stock market, I'm more on a position trader, is syempre ina-expect ko na back siya to at least 7.59 unless na lang is makita ko yung reversal ng mga indicators or divergence. So, sa, at this point kasi is more bullish pa naman yung indicator niya. So, and 8 pesos pala yung kanyang book value. So, syempre, I'm more on an upside. So, ang risk-reward ratio niya is actually 1.89. So, at this level, syempre, kahit na, um, come again, 7.69 yung, it's actually 7.69 yung ginamit natin kasi position trader ako eh. So, Risk reward ratio is 1.89. So for me, ah, at this point, it's actually a, a no. Unless na lang, syempre, is mas matas pa yung target level mo. So kung mas matas pa yung target level mo ar around dito is pwede rin naman. So the risk reward ratio will be higher also. So yeah, for me kasi at this point, at saka yung volume niya kasi hindi naman siya ganun ka um, laki. So yeah, for me, risk reward ratio of 1.89 is a big no for me. But kung sakaling nakapasok kayo or meron kayo nito, is measure nyo na lang yung possible target and loss ninyo. But yeah, sa case na to is kung sakaling pumasok ako at 6.20, possible target ko or return ko ay 22.98%. Possible lugi ko kung mas stop out ako is 12.14%. At 5.46 na support and resistance na 7.59. So, there you go guys. If you have some questions, comments, and feedback, please feel free to reach me out. Thanks guys.